the Insta360 X3 Sticky Lens Guards. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I've had heaps of comments about this product and is it any good? So I thought, well I might as well get some, show you how to put them on and give it a test run. So that's what we're gonna be learning today. All right, what do we get in the box? Let's open her up. That's it. All right, so we have the lens guard, the sticky lens guards. So we'll just open it up a bit more. Insta360 packaging is always great. Oh, there's a fair bit in here in this little package. All right, so we've got wonderful cloth. We always need them. Instructions on how to do it. Two sets of spare adhesives if you want to put it on and off. So that's a, a plus. Then we have a little applicating tool. So that's obviously to help take them off. So we have the lens guards front one and we have the back one. Now you need to determine which is the front and back camera on your X3. Well, that is so simple. The one with the screen is the front. So if you're taking them off and you don't want to get a mix up, you can see the thickness of the domes of the guards. The thin one is the front and the thick one is the back. So if you don't have these little stickers here, because you've thrown them out and you're replacing them and you put new adhesive on, that's how you can tell. The thicker one is for the back and the thinner one is for the front. So if you have to take your lens guard off and you need to put it back on again, it's a double-sided adhesive that you're going to need to replace as well, not just the lens guard, okay? So once you've taken this off, you have to put on another set of adhesives for your lens guards. These lens guards are only splash proof. They are not used for waterproofing. So please make sure if you're going to be putting your X3 camera in the water, take these lens guards off before doing so. So first step is make sure that we clean the lenses on the X3. So make sure you give it a good wipe, not just the lens itself, give it a wipe around the sides because that's where the adhesive is gonna stick and you want that to be all nice and clean. So we're gonna do one side first, then we'll flip it over and do the other side. As you can see here, you have a little notch to mark which way is up or down. And on the lens guard, you have the exact same notch. So you just line those two up, place it over the top. So here we go. So we're all nice and clean. I'm peeling off and I'm lining the notch up with the notch. A little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. All right, so, yep, so that's good. I'm going to get my cloth and I'm going to push down with my cloth. So I'm not getting my greasy fingers on the lens guard. All right, so that's one lens guard on. Let's flip it over and do the rear side. Same again, look for that little notch down the bottom and that's what you're going to line up with your lens guard. And we're lining up. Yep, that looks good. Good to me. Once again, get cloth, push down. Don't use your fingers. You're just gonna get greasy marks on it. We don't want that. And there we go. The lens guards are applied. All right, so let's go out, grab some footage and see if there's any difference between having the lens guards on and not having them on. So I have done it in the full 360 mode and also I have done a comparison with the me mode as well. So we can look at the two differences or if there is any. So let's jump in and have a look. We'll look straight off the bat. In the normal 360 mode, there's not much of a difference. Um, I know they're two different days, but there's not much of a difference with having the lens guards on to not having them on. As you can see, they're very similar in their video quality. There's no warping anywhere or anything like that. So that's a plus. When I was editing them on the desktop version of Insta360, 
it automatically picked up that it was having the lens guards on as well. So that is a great bonus. All right, so let's jump into me mode and have a look in the difference in me mode. Okay, look, you can see a little bit of a difference there in between where the stitching lines are, but I don't know if that's just because of the way that the lighting was on the day. I don't know if that's got to do with the lens guards at all, but let's keep watching and let's see if there's any more differences. I did spin the X3 around just there, which that improved the difference in the stitching. That might've been a user error to start with, with the difference in the stitching line. I don't think that had to do with the lens guards at all. I just think that was just a user error. So look, you can see there's not much of a difference again. The lens guards are very good. Uh, they're gonna protect your lenses and that's what the whole thing's about is protecting these lenses on these X3 cameras because they're expensive to replace. So yeah, let's. I'm gonna keep them on for the time being and see how it goes. Uh, see if I have any fogginess, like there's been reports on social media that they fog up and what to do. I'm gonna give it a go. And if I have any problems with them, I will surely update you. So if you have found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because I have some great videos coming up that you don't wanna miss out on. I will leave links for everything below. If you want to pick up yourself an X3, please use my link. Uh, it helps support this channel to be able to create content for you guys. There will be links to my Amazon page. If you wanna jump over there and have a look at the things that I love in, on Amazon and pick up anything there, please do so. And until next time guys, this is Colin from O'Colin out.